and welcome to vlogmas day number three so lily is so much better she is driving me insane now we know she's better she's taking her medicine still like a trooper even though she doesn't really like the taste of it she still takes it like a trooper don't you i'm really proud of you darling um she just had some juice after and she had a red vent chocolate after as well today didn't you but she's taking both like a trooper her rash is less aggressive today um her cheeks have gone down her tongue show me your tongue sorry someone commented on saying show me your tongue properly yeah her tongue's back to normal so yes hopefully we're on the mend and hopefully we can get this month rolling a bit better right so we are off to the shop again 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 for some essential supplies because now liam has got an awful sore throat but yeah, he's woken up with a sore throat, so I'm hoping he's not coming down, because that's like one of the I first mean, symptoms. Really She's feeling so much better, aren't you? I got really well, Did you? Yeah, I need to run. What have we got to get while we're at the shop? I still need. And? What does Daddy need? Soup. Soup. We're getting soup for Daddy. I still need for Lily. Soup for Mummy's dinner. And bread, because I was not going to have any lunch. Lily had a sandwich and a yogurt and she's actually eating completely normal now. I had some noodles but now it looks like Liam's at least got some of the symptoms so yeah it's, not, it's like going for everybody apparently and there's another child at the school that's got it. It's in Lily's class. I'm just speaking to her now that was her. Um, It just it's, it's doing its rounds and it's not the most pleasant because Lily's poor skin feels like sandpaper and it's just not a nice thing um but we made a cool paper chain yesterday and I'll show you that in a minute I've also got a pile of washing to fold and I'm also going to write it in Lily's baby book because even though she's like well she's better now but she wasn't it's sort of one of those things that maybe like she'll <laughs> that maybe she'll get asked in um the future whether she's had like any of these illnesses so if I make a note of it now then I know that she she can have a look back and be like oh yes I remember not that she'll want to bless her um sorry about the dodgy lighting we have our curtains closed now flat quite a bit um because it just keeps the heat in these flats are awful for keeping the heat in um so we keep our curtains closed pretty much all day every day in the winter just to keep it warm in here but the joys, I'm glad we don't live in Scotland. Anyone who does, I feel sorry for you. But as long as you've got like good windows, we haven't. Um, but yeah, so if it's like even minus one, it's like minus one in this flat, it feels like it anyway. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to see what this mum's just messaged me and see if I can find one. I need to put it in her book. Fold that washing over there. Maybe make myself a good cup of tea because my mum was shocking this morning. So just quickly, here is the pile of washing, here's the folded washing, here's my baby book and Lil's red book which I've just written in. And this is the cool paper chain, it's so long, um, which we need to put up somewhere. Lily's got a little one in her room too. So yeah, I'm loving that paper chain though, it is so cute. Sadly it's the last of the paper chain pack that we had so I need to get another one for next year but... That's no harm done at all. So I thought I would show you what we actually got when we went out. Um, the bread's been used and so is one of the yogurts. <coughs> but Lily requested some lollies. We got some rocket lollies from Co-op. Got some paracetamol for Liam. Got some fromage phrase because we've run out and 
Lily loves them with her lunch. Then we've got some toasty white bread from Co-op and a tin of soup from Co-op. But I didn't have any soup I wanted in. And um, so I went to the little oldie that was just up the road and I got beef and vegetable soup for my dinner. And then, it was, <laughs> Luke, they wasn't on in the co-op, we've got a Tesco, tiny Tesco just around the corner. So I picked Liam up a big bottle of Luke's Aid because he is not feeling too good. Um, so yeah, we actually collect points off this through coal, which is so good. You get like 5p back per pound and then some goes into the community too. So it's all worthwhile and their food's pretty good to be honest and it's not overpriced. So I'm going to edit as much of today's vlog as possible while Liam's out because then we've got tonight together and I have Christmas music on because it is December and I'm not listening to anything else other than Christmas music because why not? Okay, Lily has just come in with this creation, haven't you my baby girl? It's a Valentine's cake. It's a Valentine's cake and you can open it so I'm going to have a look. I haven't seen inside yet so we'll get it together. It's oh, that's so cute. Yeah. I found a special <coughs> They're flower smarties. They're flower smarties, guys. This is a Lily exclusive, isn't it? They're so cute. That was such a clever idea as well, Lils. Well done. That's such a clever idea, putting the lid on. Let's try and keep it for when Daddy gets back. Yeah? yeah? Well I'm done, sweetheart. Cake cool. For Daddy. Oh, well, thank you so much. Love you. How? How does she do it? Like, her imagination is mad. So we've just done her <coughs> reading for school, haven't we? <coughs> because she should be going back tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. She's got a little bit of redness around her lips, um, so I've just, like, smothered it in Vaseline to make it better. All right, darling. <laughs> Hey, yeah, stop flirting with the camera. <laughs> so silly. But yeah, we're just listening to some more, some, Chris, some more Christmas songs. Just written in her reading record book. And yeah. Are you excited to be going back, going back tomorrow and seeing all your friends? Yeah, see what I got for lunch. Oh, I don't know what we've got for lunch tomorrow. So I'm looking a bit, won't we? I don't know whether it is pizza. Oh. We'll have a look. Pizza. If not, it'll be something tasty anyway. But yeah, I don't even know what week we're on. But obviously you'll be practicing your Christmas show as well, won't you? Yeah. And then what is it on Thursday? Mm. What do you get to wear on Thursday to school? Christmas jumper. And what else you got taken? Uh, your I costume. Costume. So I've got these weird glasses on. Um, <coughs> and I was hoping it would work for his phone, but it doesn't, sadly. But these glasses were from our, our local garden centre last year and they turned Christmas lights into like a character. So we picked up the Santa ones and I'm literally looking at like loads of different kinds of Santas and the further you get away, the bigger they get. So it's really, really, really weird. I wish I could show you, but there's only like £1.50 I think they were. Hasn't got a price on. But they look like this. And um, yeah, you can see Santa through them, it's so cool. There we go. Who's that? It's Santa. Where is he? Right there. Is he on all the lights? Yeah. If you move further back, he gets bigger, look. Right. <laughs> no. Start again. Foxes in the snow. In the middle of the forest, beneath the roots of an old oak tree, lived a family of foxes. 